Guys, before we get into this great episode with the Are You Garbage Boys, my live dates, July 8th, the Wilbur Theater, Boston, Massachusetts. Laugh It Up just added Poughkeepsie, New York, July 21st and 22nd. Then we got the Paramount Theater in Huntington, Long Island, August 17th. Dallas, Texas, August 24th and 25th. Springfield, Missouri, weekend of September 7th through 9th. Uh, Calgary, Alberta, September 22nd, 23rd. Fort Wayne, Indiana, September 29th and 30th. Toronto, Ontario, the T Dot, October 7th, Royal Theater. Red Bank, New Jersey, the Vogel Theater, October 14th. Cobbs, San Francisco, now October 27th and 28th, now on sale. Sony Hall, November 4th in New York City. Providence, Rhode Island, November 10th and 11th. Phoenix, Arizona, November 16th and 17th. Spokane, Washington, December 1st. Tulsa, Oklahoma, December 8th and 9th. Louisville, December 15th and 16th. New dates also being added right now. Patreon.com slash Giannis Pappas Hour for our bonus episodes. Please join. Check out our bonus apps every single week. Welcome to the Fediverse. Now enjoy this episode with my two favorite guys, the Wawa Twins, Foley and Ryan. What's up, everybody? Obviously, I'm here with the RU Garbage Kids, otherwise known hey. as the Wawa Twins. <laughs> <laughs> Hokey Fest coming up this summer. Get yourself a shorty. Kippy and Foley. Yeah. What up, dog? Hey, What's buddy. going on? This now, is what, great. What you can do, we switch seats. What you can do is maybe take one of those, carry one of those onto a plane. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you got an inflatable one. Sure. And tuck Just it. Just post up. Because you're comfortable. I'm comfortable right now, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable on the plane when we fly for business because we're up front. Yeah, especially if you can get nine bloodies in you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kid likes a yeah. BM on the plane. I yeah. do. He yeah, goes I after it. it. That in my movies, I'm in. And he gets real finicky if she don't give them to him quick <laughs> enough. He gets real snappy yes. with me, too. He's like, what's this fucking broad's deal? I didn't I'm know like, that was a rule. You only got one before you took off. They, well, you know what? They Maybe maybe it wasn't rule and they just 86 you without you knowing about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> they, maybe, they flagged you before you got yeah, on the tarmac. Maybe when you fucking Bullshit. I'm up front. Let's go. Keep them coming. No real stingy with that snack card. <laughs> no. Fucking vegan uh, gummy bears. Let's go. How dude. many did you get before they took off? Uh, they only give you one. So but no, I, you were we you you were drinking them in the bar beforehand. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I had a couple. Oh, you pregame the flight. Of course. Yeah. Oh, if we don't have shows that night, yeah, we'll have yeah. two tree pops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll have two tree. I'll it's have two best. tree. He'll have eighteen ninety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get loosened up, get ready to go. Then I get on the plane. I have one. I put my movie on. Well, it's also like he gets mad at me. He's like, "You're not fucking drinking, dude." I'm like, "We gotta land. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta go to Avis and, and like get a car. They're not gonna hand me. They're not gonna hand me keys to a Tahoe when right. I'm slurring my words." Do you start earlier, like a like you know, like a, in a race? If it, a guy was racing a girl, you kind of give her a head start. Like if you guys are drinking together, do you start earlier so then you can be even when you're on your seventh? He's on his first. I have this thing where I have to, if I'm drinking. <laughs> I have to, cr what I call it, I have to cross the river. So I can't just have a drink and then relax. I got to get you gotta two, hit the or, thrusters to I gotta get that thing two in the or air. three in me to get out of the atmosphere. <laughs> and then I can start relaxing. Then I can chill with everybody. Right, right. But I got I to gotta get across. I got to get the boat man, get across the river, get the quarters on my eyes. And why is that? Because you just feel surly if you don't? Or? It's just the way alcohol hits me. If I have one drink, if I have one IPA. Cool. It's like I a train like, dart. Yeah, I feel like I just had chemo. Right. Like I'm just in this weird, hazy thing. I got to fucking, I got I to gotta get in there. I got to get it in the bloodstream. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. You look at tip. I mean, for you're a you're a bigger guy. Sure, a little bit of a bigger guy. So statistically, one, one beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, statistically, we're obese. Oh yeah, no, what? I'm a fat piece right? of shit. Oh obese? no, yeah, dude, no, like, you're, you're obese. obese. No, you're probably overweight. No, no, no. They call you obese in the hospital. Hurt my feelings. That was like Fuck, the that's why they call me into the doctor's office. When I had COVID and I saw the report, like that was the worst part about co um, uh, being co having COVID was like that they called me obese. Found out yeah. you're a I was fat like, piece can we use shit. a different terminology? Dude, yeah. I had every single pre-existing condition for that, and I fucking I rolled through COVID. Yeah, never it, got it once. There's a couple guys like you that you know that 
I should have been dead. Should be gone. Yeah. And then there's Dude, your... he was in Queens. They were stacking bodies out front of his house. Literally, bodies on the street, and he's out there smoking cigs yeah. and fucking hanging out. They had the tractor trailer at the hospital near my near my apartment. I'm like, well, I guess that's where I'll be. Honey, if you need me, me, I'll, be, I'll be over at the hospital. Save me a room in that, will you? <laughs> it, motivated, uh, it motivated Action Bronson, I think, to get in shape. That guy, Dude, he's, he's yeah. the hero. Everybody you, it, crazy. Was there a moment where you were like, all right, this is, let me... Let let me stay here. Or you were just like, no, I'm a guy from Philly, and give me a hoogie. No, yeah, yeah, I was just dodging. <laughs> hoogie and a kook. Yeah, I was just dodging. I was careful. I did my mask, all that kind of shit. Wiped all the stuff down. But no, the beginning when it was the worst, I was probably eating the worst of my life. It's tough, dude. We were off. We had money coming in. Fucking dude, I was crushing. You were living frozen, at home too. Yeah, yeah, crushing frozen pizzas. Yeah, that's tough. Your guys' podcast is taking off. Sure, you got some money rolling, and then COVID hits. It's asking COVID saying, "Hey, nobody can party." And you guys like, we want this is what we well, want to start hit partying. In COVID, like, yeah. we were. I mean, we launched the pod two weeks before COVID. Was it that early? It was that yeah. dude. It was we we launched I mean, like that February fourteenth or eighteenth or something like that. Wow. So we had, we had two eps, and then we had two in the can. And I was like, "Well, here's another failed fucking project." You know you what I mean? You lost it. You you when you launched it, it almost looks like you were in on COVID. Yeah, like you yeah, were like, yeah, let's yeah, start yeah. a podcast because we know what's coming. Some Chinese people, diplomats. People are going to be indoors. <laughs> Find out Fauci's my yeah. uncle. <laughs> we got a little insider Something trading tip. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. he dipped out of town real quick and went to uh, Wildwood, went to New, Wildwood Jersey. New Jersey. Shout out to it, baby. <laughs> I stayed in the bunker in uh, Astoria with my girl for the first two months. We started crushing pods. We did hard feelings every day for a half an hour, and we did two episodes of Are You Garbage? And we were able to get, you know, bigger people because they were, they Everybody was sitting they at were home. chilling, doing yeah. much. And, dude, me and my girl were just in, inside going to the grocery store, going to the wine store, getting, like, $400 orders and just fucking... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. we went down to my mom's, and that was, that was a wrap. That's when it really oh. kicked in. I remember yeah. one time he was like, yeah, everybody's doing keto. He's at his mom's. He goes, everybody's doing keto. And I'm like, all right. And then, like, two days later, he's like, yeah, you know, you're allowed to have beers on keto. And I'm like, I don't think so, man. He's like, yeah, you say you're allowed to have four beers. I go, dude, I got to talk to this nutritionist. Make all ultras. <laughs> that's what he's going to do. Make ultras. That's funny. He's just reading the keto book, and his brain just won't accept those sentences that say you can't have beer. I'm like, I didn't see it. Yeah. But yeah. as fucked up as COVID was, obviously, it was bad. But those... The whole thing's a hoax. The two months that I was, <laughs> the two or three months it's that a I was, hoax. A hoax. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoax. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. It's all bullshit. <laughs> but the two or three months I was down at my parents, that's honestly was the happiest. I, I because my dad yeah, had no responsibility, not paying rent, and your mom's doing your laundry. Yeah, yeah it was all right. <laughs> I mean, what other forty-five-year-old doesn't want to live? No, like but that? here's the deal. Here's the deal. You, I know why it felt so good. My dad had just started getting sick, so it, it was good to be to have that time with him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you made it serious right before I was, <laughs> yeah. about, right yeah. before I was about to make a joke. Yeah, you made it serious. He really I saw that coming against the ropes. It was like, oh, let me let me throw the sympathy card out of here. <laughs> I start crying because I was about to say like. Uh, you guys started Are You Garbage? You kind of knew. When you start something that's got the right chemistry and it's got the feel, you kind of know it's going to work out. So when you went home, probably with your folks, you knew you had something. Whereas if you didn't have Are You Garbage and you didn't have that instinct that was going to work out, you'd just be going back home to your folks. It would just yeah, be, you're going home. You're not You're not doing a victory lap. You're, yeah. you're a loser, yeah. Bill. You're going right back to loser, Bill. I would have been okay with that, to be honest with you, man. If I could, I would move. I would, if it was socially acceptable, I would definitely move home and live you Love your folks. Yeah, they're good peeps. Okay, so where what's the emotional eating about then? Um, what's because, the emotional? Because I'm an emotional eater. I eat emotionally. I, I blow up to about two twenty five. That's and what I, I'm walking around at right yeah, now. Two thirty. Two thirty. That's obese. Hey, we're I obese. didn't come here to be fucking <laughs> to be made fun of on camera, Yanni. Got me out of here in fucking Bay Ridge. Let me tell you something. I, no disrespect, but if Foley wasn't here, there, we'd be two fat guys you talking about it. You are not a fat guy. What are you Dude, talking are about? Are you kidding me? No, you're my... Yanni. I'm a fat guy. No, I mean... Then what am I? Obese, obese. Yeah. <laughs> obese, obese. <laughs> I mean, you're... Yeah. Yeah. obese. Here, here it is. You're, we're European fat. You're American fat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's more of it. We're yeah. also city fat. 
Yes. You go out to Missouri, I'm oh, a fucking nine and a half out there, that, baby. That's wheelchair fat. I, re, I remember yeah. saying on stage, I'm like, yeah, I'm a fat guy. It was like when I first started doing the road like a few years ago. And I was you're like, yeah, I'm a fat guy. And someone's like, the, the headliner was like, you're not a fat guy out here, dude. He's like, <laughs> you're the maybe hottest in, chick in Springfield. Yeah. Yeah. What are you He's talking like, about? Maybe New York, you're fucking chubby, but not out here, man. Yeah, most of the country, you drive to the buffet. And by drive, I mean all the way up to the buffet sure. right there. from car to scooter. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Scoot car up. to scooter. You scoot right up. Yeah, Those you never Midwest get out buffets. of a mechanical engine, you know, vehicle. You're on wheels the whole time. <laughs> You're um, always on wheels, yeah. The emotional eating, I don't know. Food was always big in, in our house. Um, we ate a lot. I don't really know where Are it comes Italian from. Are you Italian fully? Irish. Irish. Yeah, I don't know where it comes from, but yeah. it's definitely there. I'm definitely an emotional eater. Yeah. Definitely for comfort and all that stuff. Usually the Irish go liquid lunch. Right here. Yeah. Ding, ding, yeah. ding. My whole, dude, no one's really that fat in my family, but it's like, we will get drunk and tell you how we feel. Yeah, yeah. Which will end in you punching each other in the head. Which and, is the only time Irish people talk about their feelings. Oh, yeah. I yeah. need about eight in me. before, yeah. And especially now, because I'm, they're all still in Philly, and I'll come home, I'll get like eight in me, and be like, what's this guy's fucking deal? And everyone's like, oh, shit, here we go. <laughs> my dad, me and my dad were the only ones that were big in my family. My brother's thin and my mom's thin. Right. Yeah, but I, I, I have a lot of my dad's uh, qualities. Yeah, and genes, too. Yeah. So a lot, some of it's genetic. Sure. Yeah. Some of it's just genetic. He used to graze the way that, that I graze. Oh, you graze? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially there at the house after dinner, milling around. We, we would take rotations where he would be like in the kitchen for a couple of minutes. I'd be looking the other way, and then I'd go in there and be doing the same thing. We'd both give each other shit. What are you doing in there? Get out of there. How do and animals sneak in there? Yeah, how do animals stay so thin? They eat all day. I don't know. Because they're eating grass. They're running for their life, Yanni. What the fuck? They don't have There's someone <laughs> after him. This fat idiot sitting in his house. Yeah. That's what he's, got I, his, he's got his mom doing his laundry. Me around. <laughs> but even the ones that are like fenced off, they just eat all day. But yeah. it's just because they're not eating Taco Bell. Not eating Taco yeah. Bell. Dude, yeah. They're eating fucking not grass food. and yeah. Yeah. seeds. Now but listen. Do you ever see when, when like like a bear is lives near like a dump? When they eat processed food and stuff like that, they just blow up. Blow up. Yeah, they yeah. Blow up. <laughs> morbidly obese. Just for eat, a beer, uh, bear uh, eating a Slurpee. You <laughs> kind of <laughs> eat a Slurpee, right? It's not really a drink. It's more of an eating a Slurpee. I would say that. Yeah, it yeah. takes a little bit of. Yeah, you eat yeah. ice cream. Yeah, you eat water ice. Yeah, you don't, you don't drink water ice. Yeah, you, you see, ice. that's the thing. Like, what is eating? Because with ice cream, nobody says you lick. A, nobody goes you lick it. You want to go lick a cone. Do you want to go eat ice cream? Eat ice, cream. Eat ice yeah. cream. But you don't really eat it. No. It melts in your uh, mouth. The first time I heard the morbidly obese thing was a couple years ago at the pulmonologist. He said it real slick, too, under his breath. I was like, what the fuck do you say? Because he was talking to the nurse, and he was, like, looking at me, and he's like, uh, he was like, a 45-year-old man, morbidly obese. And I was like, what the fuck do you <laughs> say? <laughs> he's talking into a recorder. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm looking around. <laughs> hey, you got a couple of fatties in here, Doc. <laughs> Anyway, about that, Ozem. <laughs> it's a tough thing, too, because part of it is very jovial. Sure. You feel like it, people, and it's one of those things people just make jokes about all the time. I, and we always did that. Yeah. I was always called fat my whole life, like, you know, in like a, a busting balls kind of way. You know, we, we, we did. For the, years in our relationship, I was the fat one. Yeah. It's yeah. Weird. I would walk up and he go, what's up, fat? I was, I mean, he was probably, when I met you in Philly, you were probably my size now. Give what or do take. you weigh now? I'm like 230 probably. Yeah, that would make sense. So he was like, he was walking around. When I met him, he was walking around at me, and I was probably like 250, 255. Oh, that's big. Yeah. yeah. That's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah, and he would walk, he would call, what's up, fatty? Like yeah. every time I walked up, hey, how you doing, fatty, fatty, yeah, fatty? Yeah, yeah. And then it's, you know, we've, we've, then he lost weight and I got all of his old clothes. Uh, <laughs> I, I was that's when we were real poor in New York, dude. That's, dude. you know, you're jammed up money wise when your fat friend loses 25 pounds and you take his $9 pants. I was walking around New York in 2014 wearing 2008 Philly style. Yeah. <laughs> it was Crombie and Finch. Yeah. And fucking and an Iverson jacket. jersey on it. When, when, when your friend, I was, me and Bobby Kelly were talking about dude. this. I made a joke. I said, he looks dude. like fucking He Man. Yeah, well, he got the surgery. The picture, of, the picture of he looked. We had him on the pod. I think a few months after he had the surgery, he came and he looked good. But he was kind of like in that like little bit of like a transitional period. There was a, there's a picture from Moon Tower. They all go to this uh, the taco place. What's it called? I don't know. Soder sets it up. I forget yeah. what it's called. El Campanitos dude, or something. He's out front in this picture. Fucking cock diesel. Just looks fucking unbelievable. Yeah, man. yeah. Well, fucking he, hot Bobby. Yeah, I mean, listen. 
You know, science can do stuff. I know. Crazy. Man. They can turn. They can change your gender, and they can. They can change. <laughs> and they I can but get he, you skinny. He really worked hard because we talked about it for a while uh, after after we recorded. He. Um, He's like, it, it wasn't just like, you know, okay, I want to do no. it, I'm going to do it. He had to, like, fucking work on himself for, like, a year. Like 30 pounds. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. eat it. You can't and just get... it's a lot of mental and emotional work, too, because they say, like, it's like addicts. It's like, if you don't solve the problem, a lot of guys that do it end up either just eating through it yeah. or, like, go back to drinking and smoking and shit like that because you haven't fixed that thing in your brain. Yeah. You physic- you're trying to physically change it of, like, yeah. okay, now I can't eat that much, but then you're smoking meth two weeks later. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So, do you think ever about maybe throwing a band on? Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I have a, a cardiologist appointment in June that I'm going to, and I'm going to ask him about the Ozempic. The oh the show. Yeah. 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 Just to see what he says. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've said it. I said this. I think if on- not, I'm going down to Mexico, getting what I need. What do they got down there? Coke. <laughs> That's another way to do it. Go do a bender yeah. in Tijuana. Getting back on the horse. What are you nuts? It's funny that that drug is like in in low supply because all the Hollywood elites. Yeah, yeah. I would. I looked into it because I'm like, hey man, I'm. At, I feel like I'm at a point. I'm like, if I don't get this twenty thirty off, yeah, I could go easily go the other way. Yeah. So I'm like, let me see if I can get this twenty thirty off. So I looked into Ozempic, but somebody was like, yeah, they're not going to give it to you. It would be good if there was a way to work out once and then you're like, you're you get it off. But the thing is, you got to do it every day. I know. That's, That's what happens to brutal. me. I get into the like three days, and I'm like, all right. What are you I, doing in the gym? Hitting a gym? You doing at the house? I, I do the elliptical, man. No pressure on the knees. Yeah, that's good. You got to get the. It's the old lady workout. You got the elliptical at the house? I don't have one at the house yet. Where are no. you going to? You go to? I go to a gym. I got right now. I go to uh, what is it? Uh, Planet Fitness. Twenty bucks a month up there. <laughs> I mean, whoever interiorly designed that place, it looks like a car wash. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I've always said that's the only place you can see a guy on steroids and a guy running in jeans on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only guy fucking both but ends the of burbs, the spectrum. They're nice. They're, they're nicer in the burbs. They still look like car washes. Do you have a you steam go to room one in the there? city, it's wild. No steam room, but no they, steam room. they do have the massage chair that you can get in for 10 minutes if you're an elite member, black card member of the car. <laughs> it's funny. They call, Are you a black car? Are you a black car member? It's 25 wash. bucks. 25 bucks is like ordering dinner for yourself one, <laughs> night, one night a month. So I joined, I'm a member of another gym and I just joined Planet Fitness uh, because that's where Verzi goes. So now we can go together. There you go. Yeah. Verzi walks on the treadmill. Really? Yeah, he's yeah. got bad knees or something? No. I think he's just like... He's out for a stroll. He strolls he's in place. There. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, he's, and then he'll be like... What's I had the a, rush? What like, are you doing? He's like, I had a great <laughs> workout yesterday. And then I went to the gym with him and he was he was walking on the treadmill. I even saw a video of you running on the treadmill. Yeah. 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 That yeah. was when I was... Uh, that's when I was like full blast. That was after being like full blast with the trainer for a while. And shortly after that, I fell off the... Off the horse. You know it's also tough probably why you can't lose weight? Why? Because you look good big. You're a handsome guy. He's got a big. good head of hair. He's a good looking good dude. Good looking dude. He carries dude. it pretty well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no grays, like fucking solid. You could look good. Nah, it's just I'm weak. That's what it is. What I'm do you a mean? Weak, I'm a weak man. I'm a weight as far as uh, discipline. If I was more disciplined. But that's what makes you funny. True. If you were disciplined, you know. There's a lot of guys now who treat like comedy like mathematics and uh-huh. they work hard i hate that thing like work hard and it's like huh oh, i'm terrible what? with that uh, stuff. you know you know that whole thing like work hard i hate those people who, like give motivational speeches about comedy grind six to fucking it's grind like, time baby yeah i got into this because i had a natural talent to be yeah, a i like start off. my day at 2 p.m yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not listening yeah. to sets i didn't go to fucking harvard i barely made it out of my liberal arts college sure. where'd you go again American University. That's right. Yeah. That's right. My That's brother down in D.C. The, yeah. Down it's in a D.C. good school. It's a good school. But when I went to it, it was right after there was a big scandal. That's right. I think we right. talked about yeah, it. Yeah, we talked about, about that. On Are Your Garbage. Yeah, Yanni yeah, yeah. snuck what's, in there. What's the Hamptons of Philly? The nice part of Avalon, like, New Jersey. Avalon, New Jersey. Like, Avalon where, and Stone Harbor. Because like there is like a local Philly. Here's the deal about Philly. Go ahead. I know a couple There's of the, money down there. There's money down there. There's but a lot the of money line, in the birds. The main line, main, yeah. line. main line is where you live like all year. Like that would be you live in the real nice area is the main line. Right. That's old school. That's old money. money. That's right. like real Chestnut old. Chestnut Hills, old school. That's where like money. white people live and where Kobe played basketball. Yes. yes. Right. He was Lower off the main Marion. line. Yeah. 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 Lower yeah. Marion, Villanova. That's all main that's line. That's a real shit. ritzy area. Yeah. Right, right. That's where like billion like billionaires live out there. We used to play them in lacrosse. And big thing with lacrosse is you have to start it young. But if it's a not that rich of an of an area. They don't start young. You start when you're in like eighth and ninth grade. Is lacrosse in a not rich area? 
uh, it started. Super, it started. Like, it started to get to yeah. in the in the late eighties, early nineties. Well, you know, middle class areas started to pick it up because it was cool. Yeah. But out in the main line, they, they start to be like, like three years old. Yeah. My question: and They would fucking smoke us. Is there a non-white lacrosse player? It's almost like is. The, is I'm sure there. Jim is. Brown was a is great there, lacrosse it's player. It's like I think it's like there's no like white. Well, it's like hib- you're if chefs. LeBron decided to play <laughs> soccer. What if you're white and you want to become a, a hibachi couple of kids chef? Kids Benny Hanna doing all right. What are you talking about? <laughs> Carl, you're up. <laughs> no, I think that's completely different. I think I think it's uh. You know, it, it, it's it's multi uh, uh, national or whatever. What's the word? No, yeah, you everybody went, plays. It's in the neighborhood. People know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, everybody plays. Yeah, that makes sense. But it yeah, is Jim a rich Brad guy was sport. a great lacrosse player. Jim Brett's right. He played lacrosse. Yeah, went to, did he go to Syracuse? Uh, he grew up in Long Island. I know that. Long Island. Yeah, yeah, Manhattan. Yeah. So the main line is really the, the main line is like the rich people. So but then they all summer, usually in like Avalon or Stone Harbor. They got houses down Stone there. Stone Harbor's Stone Harbor. South Jersey. South yeah. Jersey, Stone Harbor. Taylor yeah. Swift started playing. Yeah, she's from Reading, PA. Yeah. 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 She's yeah, from yeah, Reading, yeah. PA. She's all right, man. Reading, PA's got an interesting history. I don't know anything about I mean, that was that might as well have been in fucking that might you going to East Japip and to us. Go to Reading, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Redding? So that's that not was like, like two hours away. Maybe you like a flea like a market or Christmas yeah. shopping or something like that. Hit yeah, the outlet. No, yeah, hit the outlet. When so what yeah, where does that where's that like where's the Game of Thrones wall for the Philly area. Where do you, where is it when you go one block there? You don't say you don't hear home anymore. It's tough because where the does suburbs, it go from? Nowhere, the suburbs, home. nowhere, the dude. Suburbs, it goes down to Delaware. The suburbs That's have true. the worst have the worst accent. My little nieces and nephews, I go home and they're like, "Mom, can I have a cake?" And I'm like, "You're such a sweet little girl. Stop talking like that." <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It, the, the suburbs have it bad too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. It's a good point. It goes all the way down to Delaware, some parts of Maryland, and Baltimore, and South Baltimore. Jersey. It's the same. It's that mid Atlantic. Yeah, the same dirtbag South accent. Jersey. Too. It kind of spread a little south and and west, like COVID. But the money's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like Vietnam. There's no actual demilitarized zone. It's like it's all mixed in. Like around where I grew up, yeah, I grew up in a middle class neighborhood, but all around us are pockets of obscene wealth. Right. Like like city block mansions. Right. Like the guy that used to own U.S. Healthcare. All these huge mansions that were all over the place. We used to drive by them around Christmas and look at them. You just drink a beer, looking at them. <laughs> Little yeah. dirt balls like in the a movie seat. scene. One Steal day, imagine if we live there. One day, this will be my home. <laughs> <laughs> if you work hard, you can get a home like this. <laughs> now go get your Ozempic. <laughs> Which I get out of the Ozempic, I'll have a place like this to myself. I remember when you guys started Are You Garbage, and I was a big get. You were. Yeah. I was, that's like, wow. I remember when I was a big get. Yeah. yeah. Still a now big it, get. Now baby, I don't what return your phone calls. I'm a big get in your heart, but I'm not a big get career-wise. No. Yeah. Silly. You have also one of our favorite episodes. The one episode, I think it was your second that yeah. was an all time. I don't know if you remember. I think well, it was you your called us the Wawa Twins for the first. That was time. the second that one. Was, yeah. and that was like that's got the hurt. least numbers of the three. Really? Yeah. You got to get you back. What are you doing? I'll do for a four Pete. I'm gonna get back in here. I'll get, get back into Tootie's Manhattan condo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's somewhere in uh, South Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah it's down there in uh, Bryn Mawr. No, Bryn Mawr's too rich for <laughs> that. Bryn Mawr's too rich. Yeah, sorry yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah. Another one. We're in Northeast Philly somewhere off Common Avenue. You're down there in Cherry Hill, right by the King. Yeah. <laughs> the County Palmyra Bridge. That was always the shitty bridge. Now here's the deal. I went to Angelos when I was in Philly. You know, What's I, it? I saw that. Yeah, I went to Angelos. What's it? What is Angelos? That's the pizza and the Philly cheesesteaks. Was it famous? You, if you guys don't know it, was it famous? Is that the in place Philly? on South Street that with the big slices? Not that on, no, down? that's no. uh, that's the uh, uh, bah, fuck is the big place? Probably the, Antonio's or Margaritas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. O'Malley's. I'll or, tell you that. Uh, Santucci's uh, yeah. or Santucci's. <laughs> But Angelo's is like it's. Where's Angelo? I don't know. It's it. like off. The, it's in Little Italy. It's in Little Italy. Me and Jared went there. Is it newer? It's no. I it's been know. around. It's a fucking hole, hole in the wall. Angelo's Pizzeria, but supposedly they got the best cheesesteaks. They but you got to wait like four hours. And, and eat them in the freezing cold. Yeah, nobody's Santucci, doing that. Shout out to Santucci. Yeah, yeah. Santucci's. They make an all right. right pie. Original square pie in Roxbury. Yeah. Pizza John. These Which I've really transitioned for, over to. I've been out for ten years. Yeah. These are 
these weren't there. Tacanelli's is great. That's a, originally in Port Richmond, I believe. Yeah, Shout you, out to it. You, you've been out of there for 10 years. 10 years, dude. What? Philly's... I'm a New York liberal compared to if you talk to my uncle. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be, well, there'll be a Thanksgiving or something. I'll be walking by to get a drink. Like, like this guy is fucking New York Democrat. I'm like, what the fuck? Trying Drinking to... Heineken's over here. <laughs> yeah. Well, well there's, trust them. there's levels, right? There's those neighborhoods where it's American flags and then those neighborhoods where there's Trump flags. Yeah, the Trump flag is like there's a few around by me, and the, and they put them on. Don't high. drive by my mom's house. They put them on a high <laughs> post. She got a Trump flag. <laughs> they were donors. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, dude! My mom in law hung a Trump flag in her bedroom window facing her. Yeah, Holy so she's, yeah, 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 really facing her in her bedroom, yeah. just so she can see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoa, she's got she's got Trump uh, magnets on the fridge. Jesus. She's got a Trump salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Her dog has a Trump water bowl. Jesus. That's unnecessary. That guy moves merch, though, dude. <laughs> he does. He's got salt and pepper shakers and water <laughs> yes. bowls. Didn't he yeah. just drop a, a card game or something like that? Dude, he's got NFTs. He's Crazy. got superhero NFTs. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to get into. Yeah. 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 Pet accessories. He moves tickies, I'll tell you that. Well, you know, that his, his fans are either, like, really rich in classy or just kind of like the other extreme. Sure. Yeah. D- yeah. You know? They're poor. Yeah, kind idiots. of. Mm-hmm. It's sort of like extremes, right? Yeah. It's either rags or riches with the Republican Party. It'll usually. be interesting it to is. see what happens this election. Yeah. Who are you guys voting for? I don't vote cuz I don't want <laughs> I, I don't I don't so want bad I could do that. It's so hard. To I don't want to have to do jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I only got to end up on a murder trial. Yeah. <laughs> I got fucking road dates I got to plug. That's a great way. That's So you avoid I, it because if you vote, they got you on the books I for jury duty. I asked my dad yeah. when I was six. I think it was like the it was George Bush versus Clinton or whatever. And I was like, who are you voting for, dude? And he was like, I don't vote. I don't want to do jury duty. And I was like, my man, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a that was passed down to you. That could have been passed down from his father to him to you. It's yeah. just like your family may have never served the community at all. Well, my mom. Yeah. Well, my dad. Yeah, no, my dad. No, my mom. My she's you know she's she was just she was going to come up to New York. She's like I can't. I got to go down to the city for jury duty. So she, she had to go yes. sit down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it once when I hated my job. I thought it was like a great way to not go to work, and I was right because you get paid too. You get yeah, paid like eighty bucks a day or something. And also right? you get paid at your job. I guess they, they can't. They can't not pay you. I had it you. once in New. York when I lived here the first time and we were down like in the was it by like the Brooklyn Bridge yeah like we're city downtown hall. Brooklyn yeah. yeah it was nice yeah and but I didn't get selected it was a juicy case still I can't remember what was what it was. It? some murder or something like that yeah I don't want to do I dude I already they got bad anxiety me. I can't be laying down at night thinking I'm about to fucking <laughs> smoke it dude yeah I got I, I helped put a guy I mean with this guy it was uh drunk driving too really Nothing. Nobody was hurt, but it was just like his third. We put him away. Put him, put away. him away, Johnny. Put him away, yeah. How long did you deliberate for? Uh, I think we got deli- a couple free lunches out of it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm couple still stays on the fence over here. <laughs> yeah, the a thing- filet mignon <laughs> might might sway me one way or the other. Yeah, we're still deliberating. Uh, where's that pamphlet again for <laughs> takeout? Flip flopping for a burrito yeah. bowl. We're just in there looking through the pamphlets they give you for takeout because yeah. you get takeout. Um, that ain't bad. Don't, don't they put I, you I don't up too? Do that. Uh, they didn't put us up. I think they put you up unless it's a case that they don't want you talking to yeah, the media. Yeah, you have to be uh, mm, yeah. meandered? No, what is it? I'd be talking Sequester. to the Sequester. Sequester. I'd you be talking be... to the media. One of those <laughs> blurred out faces. Uh, I'd be too. tweeting. Yeah. I knew the guy was guilty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think unless you're like on the OJ trial, you can sleep at home. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Unless it's like of national importance or something. I only voted once in 2008. I voted for Obama. You did, huh? I did vote for Obama that, that year. Yeah. I was yeah. in college, Yeah. Yeah. I, I was in Philly and I've been ducking them ever since. <laughs> Try to get me. I never knew. I didn't. I never. I hadn't voted before. I didn't know you had to pick a whole bunch of shit. I thought it was you walk in one and done. Yeah, you got to. Like they were yelling at me. They're like, "Vote for." Don't remember. Don't forget. So Kate no Harper. eating in the booth. Yeah, <laughs> there's a whole undercard. It's like a yeah. whole. There's a whole undercard of like. You, like Check when it. you were watching a UFC fight, you're like, who are all these guys? And yeah. You just pick one. Yeah. You're like, I don't know these guys. Yeah. I'm not getting there for the opening band. Yeah. What are you I'm, talking about? I'm here Give to the watch dogs. the Brazilian guy versus Adesanya. <laughs> I don't know who these other guys are. There's a whole fucking city council. It's funny that those guys end up serving and are very important. Those they're guys more important. Growth, they're more important. That's and how they all Nobody sneak knows in who they are yeah, what they, they do. They all sneak in there. How do you fucking vote for a city councilman? Like a comptroller. Or yeah, something. or a comptroller or like a. In a small town in the suburbs. Yeah. District attorney. They're all shifty as shit. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't know. You just pick a name. You just go by party usually. Yeah, by party. Yeah, total line. Yeah, it's really we got to change the system. Something. Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. You, you heard it here cha- first. Yanni's changing the system. Would We're you ever run for office? 
Would I ever? Up there? You think you can pull it off up there? You and Local? Verzi? Yeah, you and Maybe. Verzi. Do a straw man campaign or something? Take over the whole town. I'm not one of those guys, though. I don't want the power. I don't want the responsibility. Oh, no. I don't want no show res- contracts for the boys. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I'm not even there. See, this is technically a co op, and I get emails all the time for the meetings, uh-huh. and I don't even respond to those. Yeah. So you could be running this joint. Yeah, but that's not for people like me. Uh, that's not for us. Absolute power We're a couple corrupts. Of- <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I can't be in charge of the window, Reno. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for, it's for like hall monitor types. Yeah. You know, it's like for a woman who like. Plus people smoking weed and shit. It's for the front of the class. Okay. Because like, you got to like, I mean, are, are you really going to care about the hallways and the elevators and. Does smell like soup out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. A little, a little for breeze would kill yeah. you. Hit know? it with some fabuloso, will you? You know what it is. This is like an old Brooklyn building, and there's like uh, it's a mix of like rental and like co-ops and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And there is a smell. There is a lower lower class has more of a smell. A lot of stews going it's a on lot of in stew, here. A lot couple of stews. Couple of goulashes on the yeah. third floor. Yeah, yeah. There's a you go to a lower class. Somebody's kitchen. peeling onions out there's there. There's just a lot of cooking. There's not a lot of takeout going sure. on. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So and a lot of frying. Yeah, yeah, a lot of, of deep fried foods out There's there. There's not a lot of healthy poor people. <laughs> this wonderful episode with the Are You Garbage Boys is brought to you by Factor. I just drank a strawberry banana smoothie, which is 100% plant based from Factor. This is a great option for people who are trying to count calories, lose weight. These are dietitian approved meals that are sent to you to your door. This is a ready-to-eat meal kit, and it is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Are you looking for calorie-conscious options? Well, check out Factor. Okay, we're talking about calorie-smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. And they're also very, very filling and delicious. I'm trying Factor right now. And it's just nice to eat your meal and know these are the calories I've eaten because I like to have a little extra. And then with factory, it's just all you eat the meal and you're done. Right. So they offer delicious flavor, packed options, um, a variety from keto to calorie smart, vegan and veggie and protein plus prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. Each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day uh, while meeting your goals with 34 plus chef prepared dietitian approved weekly options there's always something new to try my friends plus you round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45 plus add-ons including breakfast items like egg bites smoothies and more sustainable choice very good factor it's also great if you live in a place that doesn't have a lot of takeout or if you live in a city and you're you want to cut back on takeout a food desert absolutely Mm -hmm. Then you know you 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 get on these uh, meal plans. You get your meal kit from Factor, and you don't got to order Chinese food with all the sodium and all the, the uh, MSG. Absolutely, man. Mm-hmm. This is healthy. Get Factor instead. Not only is it cheaper than uh, takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery. These meals are ready in two minutes. This is convenient and healthy. You can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice. They will offset a hundred percent of delivery emissions to your door with 100% renewable electricity from their production sites and offices, and they feature sustainably sourced seafood in our meals. This is a environmentally conscious company. Yes, yes, yes. So it checks all the boxes, my friends. Checks all the boxes. So here is what you got to do. Head to factormeals.com slash fumes50 and use code fumes50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code FUMES50 at factormeals.com slash FUMES50. Again, to get 50% off your first box. Poor yeah, people don't tough. go healthy. They don't get the option. They get the cheap food is shitty. Yeah. Like McDonald's. Why don't they just make better food cheaper? Whole it's Foods fucking... don't have a dollar menu, okay? Yeah, that's Slap a Whole Foods in a, in, in, in a bad neighborhood. Straighten everybody out. Help people out. Well, why doesn't someone just have a business idea and just go healthy fast food? That's not cool. That's, I think I mean, some of them do. They have food. don't they have those co ops, like food costs, where you can yeah. go and pick up like the ugly. But I think you got to like wanted. garden or work there or something like that one yeah. day a month or something. But I'm shit. talking about like you know instead of McDonald's, it's like you know it's like Fresh and Co. Well, that, they kind of but nobody puts no, they don't, they don't put, Vegan's Vegan's they don't want to put them in bad neighborhoods. Yeah, they, but yeah. but at the top, they don't want that. Why not? Because they want to keep everybody unhealthy and keep them down. That's how, that's how they take over. 
getting real political. Yeah, yeah. I like it. <laughs> I love how even our political takes are about fast food. <laughs> they probably on some level do, though, right? They have to be, because if I was like... The, it ain't in their best interest to have them eating fucking salads. Yeah. Mickey D's just dropped the Big Mac sauce. You can get it now in the little thing. Finally. You don't think that was fucking... After years was, of letters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they finally responded. You're like Andy Dufresne. Now I'm going to send two letters a day. <laughs> yeah, you did say that like the culmination of your life's we work. Did we like, did it. We did it. Finally. <laughs> You're like Kamala Harris. We did it, You're Joe. Like, on to the next cause. Yeah, there we go. We got Taco Bell's going to We got to take down this Ill Illuminati for separating us by meals. But let me tell you, we did have a little victory with the special sauce. Yeah. So you can get it. You can get it yeah, now. They send it. Yeah, like the little, the little the cups. What took so long on that, dude? What took what so long? Idiots. People, I think they yeah. could have been making millions. Yeah, I mean they, that's probably because they were lazy. They were already making billions. They, but sure. then people started cracking the code on like TikTok and shit. Like this is how, this is how you make the fucking Big Mac secret sauce. Yeah. So then they were probably like, all right, well, you know, see well, the cats it? out of their bag. Let's start ketchup, selling mustard, shit. It's mayonnaise, and uh, relish. It's pretty easy. Probably a little Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of little bit of onion. It maybe has a little. Big spirit. Mac sauce is now available for fifty cents, a la carte. That's going to make them $15 billion. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they did 50 cents a sauce? Yeah, they were trying to keep it under wraps, so then you had to get the Big Mac to get the sauce. Sure. Yeah. So now you could just take the sauce and make a Big Mac. Because really, yeah. what, what all, all it takes is a sesame bun and and this sauce. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You got their, you got their best-selling product. Yeah, I didn't start fucking with the Big Mac until I was an older gentleman. I never had that when I was young. You were more into what? Healthier foods. No, I was <laughs> a big celery guy in the nineties. <laughs> healthier foods like I was Wendy's more number burgers. two guy. Big Macs were for parents. The really? Parents got the Big Mac. I thought the parents got the fillet of fish. Sometimes, yeah, the fillet of fish is a real parent order. I was a fillet of fish kid as a as a young man. My mom would get the fillet of fish, and like you know, because there's like a rationalization that it's a little healthier Healthy. because I don't think fish. I've ever had a fillet of fish. They're never, awesome. never. If I'm doing fish, I ain't going to Mickey D's, Johnny. <laughs> Going to Long John Silver. I didn't know like you were. Uh, yeah, gentleman. there you go. I was about to say. <laughs> I'm going right to the source. Shout right? out to Red Long John Lobster. Silver. <laughs> Did you ever go to Long John Silver? You didn't have them up here. No, we don't have. See, we didn't come. We didn't have a lot of chains, man. We we didn't have. It's really weird growing up in New York because we had no experience with chains. Sure, it sure. Was, it's all when you grow up. It's all pizza and Chinese food. If you grew up in New York, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. 80s. 90s, 70s, all local 80s. spots. It was all local. There was no changes. I mean, when I mean no, I mean zero. They just didn't. It wasn't a part of our life, which was so weird because everyone else had such a different. There was no like what. There was no. You, you get Mickey D's once in a while. It was like a, but it wasn't On like a, a road f trip or something. Yeah, it was like it wasn't around. You get pe pizza. We've I've eaten so much pizza. Oh, I love it. Just pizza. A lot Today of pizza. I had three slices. You three did already? Three, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm a I'm a sneaky huh. pizza if, guy. No, dude. What's my appetite like? I mean, you. I'm ask what, kind, what kind of three slices are we talking about? You didn't go three, three Dude, regs. Three, three for me is like one. Like I could do eight. Yeah, I yeah, could yeah. do eight. What, what are we talking about? What kind? What two? Two. I, I had two regular and, and one and one Sicilian. If you're from New York, it's just slice and Sicilian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you could. I could always tell someone wasn't from New York because they said, "Can I get a slice with cheese?" I don't what? like cheese. We yeah. say plain. Like we would say like you in Philly. Plain like slice. let me get two plain. That's yeah. normal. Per two that's plain. a normal human being. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, we could say that in New York too. Let me get a plain slice. Yeah, yeah. I like a plain. Sicilian though. Sicilians are nice. Yeah, I've always that's that's probably one of the reasons I'm a fat guy too. A little more. Dull. Once you switch to that, yeah. when you're like, let me get two Sicilians. But always as a kid, you cross yeah. the bridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's if Sicilian tough. is your slice, you're in trouble. Yeah. That's also, we've said it a bunch, that's a dad slice. A Sicilian? Watching my dad do a Sicilian slice, I'm like, you got to be 18 to have one of them. <laughs> yeah, you got to go ID, big fella? Yeah, not be a able to fold it. slice of Sicilian. Yeah. You got to hold you it. Can't fold, that's a, yeah, that's like yeah. a brick. It's like you, ha it's like you, have, to have, you have to be over 18 to hold, a sli hold it like that. How come I'm pouring sweat and you guys aren't sweating? Because you're a little bigger than we are. I know, I know, it's know. also hot in here. Ooh, it's it, cooking it. Yeah, here. it's also hot in here. That welcome to a pre-war New York City <laughs> hey, apartment, still hunted, apartment turned studio. Also, I couldn't live any further from I think we live in there's not two apartments that are more further than mine and yours. Where's yours? I'm on 181st Street. <laughs> Wow, yeah. you're behind the wall. I left yesterday, dude. Yeah, you're like, hey, can you do two thirty? I'm like, I'm already in Midtown, baby. <laughs> this is happening whether you want to or not. You're all the way up there. Yeah, and you I'm, guys I'm got right a by the bridge. You guys do a car? Or you do a subway? Can't do a subway today. I don't do the subway. No, yet. why? Yeah, I'm, I'm every choke you motherfuckers out. Yeah, everyone, oh, yeah. everyone, stay away from the subway. No, today. yeah, I, I do, I'm just, I'm an Uber guy. Took an Uber. Uber. Yeah, 
I got the. Card I did Uber out. Black. If we're being honest, you did. I did. He's close to my balls. I treat myself. There's, it's a long ride. There's nothing wrong with that. There's not. I treat myself. I just don't know what. The, what's the difference between Uber Black? About Uber Black's a nice, yeah, nicer car. In New York, is it the guy speaks English? <laughs> they don't speak to you because they think you're like an executive. They're yeah. like they're drivers. But then they know you're not when they pick you up on a hundred five thousand street. <laughs> Like, I was on. checking in on all of my rental properties. <laughs> You're like, ah, this guy's. They're making other stops. This guy must have won a contest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to run to the grocery store real quick. You mind waiting, Fatty? I got I to I go pick up the baby. <laughs> I picked him up at 3007th Street. No, they don't, because they're like limo driver ass. Right, so they right. don't, they don't, they, they, you just get in, they say, hey, for Kevin, you say, yeah, and then they're, they're chilling. Oh, you might get a Mr. Ryan here and there. Uh, they don't, yeah, they know. Yeah, Mr. Ryan. Yeah. It's nice when you get in and hear a Mr. Hey, what's up, Mister? It's nice, classy. Yeah. yeah, I like spending. I blow my. I'm bad with money. Is what it's going to be. I'll be broken in about eighteen months, but it is broke it now. Is. Tax guy came through. Oh, man, all. Tax yeah. guy cleaned you get me jammed out. up. You always get jammed up. Yeah, you, yeah, you always get jammed. I'm, but I'm. My dad gave me a sound advice. A few things he told me. Uh, Trump 2024. <laughs> uh, uh, Yanni, always take cash. He didn't. He, he died. He didn't get to see it. <laughs> really? Yeah, he died before COVID. He didn't, he didn't get, get any of that. See, he, he didn't get to see it. To live out his lifelong dream <laughs> of having a reality TV star run the country. <laughs> <laughs> he loved reality TV. Yeah. It was either him or Jeff Probst. <laughs> <laughs> he told me. He Who's told that me. The guy from Survivor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Imagine that's funny. Like if somebody. It's the same thing. Someone wakes up out of a coma and you're like, "Who's the president?" You're like Donald Trump. They're like, "Ha ha ha." Yeah. yeah. But they, even though they do that in Back to the Future, that would have been the same reaction. If you woke up in the, if you went to sleep in the fifties and woke up in the eighties, Ronald Reagan was running this right, show. Right, 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 right. Which because yeah. I was born in seventy six, so I never knew he had a, a movie career. I just thought he was the guy that took down the Russians. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, eventually slept real easy at night when Ronnie was in in the office. Yeah. As yeah. a kid, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. And I remember I just woke up one morning on and it was I walked into my parents' bedroom. And on Good Morning America, they were like, yeah, the Soviet Union fell. I was like, oh, all right, sweet. Yeah, yeah, Ronnie! What, 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 what thing to worry about? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, the, it, it was worrisome back then, the yeah. Soviet Union. Yeah, worrisome now, They're back too. then. They're back yeah, I mean, now. Yeah. It ain't all fucking, you know, sunshine and roses now. No, yeah, they, they you know, they like to act up over there. They're naughty. I sure. saw the, uh, the video of the, the supposed drone that attacked the Kremlin. It looks real fishy. That didn't look like a firecracker. Yeah, it looked, it looked like they yeah. were oh, shooting Roman candles. Yeah, it looked like uh, they were trying to build a time machine in Back to the Future. <laughs> just like a lightning bolt yeah, that went up uh-huh. and it was like it was just doc like a pop, failed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But my dad told me the, uh, two pieces of advice. One of them was stay. Uh, he said, uh, "Stay away from stupid people. They're just as bad as evil. They can hurt you just as much as Very evil." Very true. Right, because the stupid gets on you. They don't know. The yeah. closer you're to them, something. Should listen to that. Ah, buddy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Another you have one. No idea. He said, "Never fuck around with uh, your taxes. Oh, yeah, of course, no. taxes. I, yeah. I, I started doing quarterly because I'm like, get it out of my account now, yeah. so I don't fucking think it's mine." And actually, Jesse taught you taught me. You taught me. He taught me way back. He's he he goes. I just take thirty percent and I throw it right into savings. So that's what I do. That's what we've I been just, doing. I get a check and I just take thirty and I throw it into savings. And I, it's like I, I'm. You're just because you're basically just holding the. You're uh, holding it for them, Uncle Sam's money. Yeah. yeah. This was the first time in my life where I was able to just. Yeah. Just but as all. two dirtbags who have you know, I mean, we used to share clothes. Like that's how yeah, you know for the so like we're making a couple of bucks and the fact that my taxes are paid on time, I'm like. I'm like Jeff Bezos, I feel. You, you just feel like I mean? an adult, oh, huh? I'm like, my taxes are... Even though my account's empty, my taxes are... It's, when I see construction on a road, I go and see what they're doing. Yeah. What are you guys doing over here? It's Making my sure gravel they're... jerk off. <laughs> it's something different about putting on your underwear in the morning when you know your taxes are paid. Yeah, it feels good. You feel like I'm, an adult. Yeah, I, I have that they're anxiety. Clean. They're clean, yeah. <laughs> that every, the stuff, other foot's going to drop yeah. at some point. That's on, Catholic on, shit. On, it's Catholic shit. Yeah. But even today, I'm like... I like I was walking in to get in the shower to come here, and I'm like... That, that panic just sets in, and I'm like, right. oh, f- rent's paid. I'm like, rent's paid, taxes are paid, cars paid. I go, we're okay. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You can take whatever else you want, but those things are paid. I'm good. Well, you're good, but you also you do smoke Bernie still. I do like a heater from time to time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. those are no good for you. Those are no good. I'm trying to shake it. I'm trying Who to shake that? a lot of things. Huh? Who says that? I know. That's Lib- Big Pharma <laughs> telling That's you that shit. <laughs> Talk to my friend, Mr. Reynolds. It's, it's liberal propaganda. It is. <laughs> yeah. Sigs are, yeah, they're not great. Do you do at least? Do you do at least American spirits? 
That's off. What are, what are we talking about? I started here? dabbling them a little bit. American spirits? Yeah, because yeah. they're longer. Because I'm going to bum them. one right after this pod. I know. I was smoking <laughs> cigarettes like two weeks ago. Really? You got a heater with us, Johnny? I want a heater. We oh, were in fucking yeah. Rogie's club. He's like, I mean, what do you got? Yeah, what do you got? I had over there fucking chain smoking. What's the missus say about you? She don't like it. Probably don't like it. Bleep that. She don't like it. It's no good. I remember I started because I had a little period. What if you went home and lit up one in the house? Oh, no, bad. You can't do that. You'd be done, huh? No, there's one. I used to go, I used to hide behind a tree. There's a, there? tr- there's a tree on my property that I know. You, like, are, you are a great A bozo. Yeah. I'm going to take the trash out for 15 yeah, minutes. You just see the tree and you're like, why is the tree smoking? Yeah. There's smoke coming out fire, of the side. The, the fire truck comes. They got nothing else going on. It's up there. the only spot I can because I got goddamn ring cameras everywhere outside. Why do you so have the what's ring the, what So would, you can't sneak a sick because I'm on camera. What would the conversation be? You're at the house, Verzi's there. You got two tree cocktails in you, you know what I mean? Can you have a stick if you want one? I can have a cigar, fine. Say, okay. say, yeah. say, say you guys are out back, Verzi's having a stick, and you're like, you know what? I got a pack of heaters from when I was somewhere. And you have one, and she walks out. What's that combo? Big problem. Big. Big. <laughs> Huge problem. Yeah, I like it. Like, will it happen there, or will it happen the next day? It's like the cops. It's like the cops. Like, I'm in tr- it's like, right, I'm in, it's like I'm in, it's spread them. Like, I'm in legal trouble. Yeah, it's like bad. It's like, it's horrible. She calls Versi's wife. Yeah, it's undoable. You know what's really? funny about the home security? I wish that was the case for me, because my wife don't care. I mean, she cares, but she's European, so it's like, ah, oh, That's right. She don't care. Kid from you, from fucking Philly going European, that's like, man... Yeah, I, when I I, when I told good. my mom my girlfriend lived in Germany, she yeah. was like, "All right, you're, you're gay. It's fine." <laughs> <laughs> That's like getting a basketball contract, being from Compton, <laughs> like you. Yeah, you got a European I, wife. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she's cool. She lets me smoke heat. She's getting old. She's over it now at this age. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, when yeah. I met her, she smoked too. So where's like, she from again? Uh, Frankfurt. Germany. But she's Czech, yeah. Her oh, parents yeah. are Czech, and the same thing. Talk about the Soviets. Yeah. The Russians ran in there, and they yeah. got on a train and fucking skedaddled in the middle of the night. Yeah. Hightailed it out. Do, yeah. Is she really Czech, or is that something after World War II? They kind of they changed. <laughs> no, she's, she's, From now on, tell people we're Czech. <laughs> no, she's Czech, she's Czech Jew. She's German, so she grew up in oh, Germany. Nice. She was like the, yeah, the only Jewish person she knew in Germany. Wow, so if you have kids, kids are going to be part of the tribe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you who, go. Somebody had, I mean, who had, had there's some comic, I can't think of who... Uh, it's so funny. He's like, uh, he married a Jew, and he's like, I'm gonna have to have the talk with them, to, you know, like what? Because he's not Jewish, uh-huh. but he's gonna have to tell his son, like, you're Jewish. People are gonna hate you, not, <laughs> not me, but you. And I'm he, cool with you. He's like, yeah. Daddy, why? And he goes, Cause you're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever comic I can't remember, but it's yeah, some comic funny. who yeah. I know too. It's probably I don't know who. It, maybe it was Mike D, Mike D. Stefano, or oh, shout out to Mike I don't D, know yeah. who it is though. Cause Whoever did it's gonna be like, damn it, give me credit, but I, I can't. I was thinking the other day, you know what's a weird thing about World War II? The the whole Italy thing really goes under the radar. What about it? They were they were on the side of the oh, axis. Oh, you, you, you but can't... so many Italian Americans fought in World War II on the American side. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a big difference between Italian Americans. They're allies. Crazy. Well, once fucking yeah. <laughs> once once fucking Germany starts throwing out a chicken parm, then I'll fucking yeah, uh, I'll forget about True. it. Okay, you can't. But that throw... was all Mussolini. I'm Greek though. You can't throw that one past me. Crazy. Yeah, I, I, we know all about the Italians. Yeah. They tried. They invaded Greece. Yeah. We beat them bad. These Italian bad. Yeah? Yeah. Gave, bad. gave them the bid. What year was that? That this, was this, early. That, that was, was early on. So Hitler sent them in first. Hitler goes, Mussolini, you go. Those little tanks? Yeah. Remember they wanted little to Italian get, tanks? They wanted to get to Africa, so they were like, they were trying. The Italians are going to take over shit. Dude, dude, you know how much bigger Italy is than Greece? Trying to fuck I mean, all, the, all the broads and stuff? <laughs> yeah, they're just <laughs> spending too much time in the kitchen. <laughs> They're not good Pouring fighters. Water on you? <laughs> yeah, over there they're not good fighters. Here they're they they they're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prime, yeah. yeah. They're, they're Rocky Marciano. They're yeah. dirtbags here. They you know wife beaters. They got the grit on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They change a little, but over there they're just soft. It's too romantic. It's too it's too it's a, it's a beautiful country. It's too it's too romantic. They their love, hearts weren't in it anyway. They love their ma too much. They love their ma. They love you can't. Hey, I can I can fight, but I gotta be home for something. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm mean, eating the battlefield, but I gotta be home by 5 p.m. It's tough. You like, have to run home every three days to get their laundry done. <laughs> yeah, what? You what? got blood in your shirt again. <laughs> what time's the battle? <laughs> ma! What time's dinner? Can I'm you, sorry, I can't can, make it. Can you drop me off at the battlefield, Ma? <laughs> ma, can you make a spaghetti for a thousand? <laughs> I got the boys coming over. Oh, sure. Bring them over. Bring oh, yeah. Them over. I would bring it at the Calamari. Hey, Roberto, how's your mother? Oh, I forgot about the Calamari. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. That's right. The Greeks beat them. The Greeks beat them back. Beat them back we, all the way into Albania. Not yeah. so. We, not only we beat them back, we conquered some land, pushing them back. There's only a couple million Greeks. Everybody's taking a shot at the Greeks over the years. People t- try to take shots at the champ. Yeah. But we're still the Turks. The Turks took a big shot. The Turks took a big. They took shot. a 400 year shot. Yeah. Yeah. Is they, that where you got Ritzina from? Is that where Ritzina came from? Uh, I, rem- I, I thought I remember when I was working at the Greek place. I'm pretty they- impressed that you know what Ritzina is. Of course. Yeah. yeah what it is, is it? It's uh, it's a wine that has like a pine flavor. Yeah. You, talk, you got a drinking problem. What do you mean you're surprised you surprised? <laughs> you know what fucking Ritzina is? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's exotic. exotic. <laughs> it's a Greek, you know. Little Tata Musalata. Let's yeah, fucking it's go. Like, it's actually raisin, right? So it's like, uh, maybe yeah. we can look that up. Can you look up what Ritzina? So Ritzina is a white wine. Gotcha. R-E-T-S-I-N. Jesse types with two fingers. <laughs> so he's, do I. He's an artist. I'm real bad. Turned keyboard. Uh, so Retsina, yeah. What is it? What's well, in it? It's raisin. I'm pretty a sure resin. Resin. It's like a pine resin. Yeah, pine resin that they used oh. to line the pots with that they that they would let it sit in. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm Greek and I was calling it a raisin. It's but, resin. It's resin. But I thought what I what I, from my understanding is when the Turks were coming in, they poured all the wine into these things because they they wanted the the Turks not to like the wine or something like that. That's they did it to like shit. fuck with them or something like that. That could be true. I yeah. don't know. Oh, or oh. yeah, but it's not. It tastes really good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's not especially on a hot day yeah. with a spicy dish. That doesn't sound like it's a real story though. But if that is, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, because that's like one of those things. A lot of times in life, the worst things end up having the best consequences. Yeah, you know, the Turks were coming and they were like, "Fuck them." Yeah, I couldn't like a- take the wine with them. Usually people who are like the you most... Take my land, don't take my wine. Don't take the wine. <laughs> don't touch my feta. Did you already have Greek Easter, by the way? Yeah. That passed. already went happened? That yeah. already happened? Did yeah. you do something nice? No. We just, uh, you just went to the in-laws, cousins, okay. uncles, aunts. She's Greek, too, right? She's, She's Greek. Greek Italian. She's Greek, half Greek, half Sicilian. Whoa. She's half Greek, half Sicilian. Keep an eye on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Machi, yeah. machi. Oh, no, that's, that's, it's rough. At nighttime, it's rough. She turns like Jekyll and Hyde. During the day, she's sweet. Mm-hmm. At night, <laughs> she turns into a different person. She's like she's mean. She's evil at night about her sleep, about quiet. Yeah, she's dictatorial. The Italians have My a little bit of that like fascist that thing in them. They just do. My girl gets like that at night because it's a Mussolini. That thing. It's just in Italians. Like that fascism. That kind of like quiet like you control and like quiet and yeah. like instead of it's just in there i feel like at night is when my girl gets real like militant too she like wants to make sure everything's cleaned up before she goes to bed and she's running around doing this doing that it's a, it gets nerve-wracking yeah this is verzi right now verzi yeah what's up man where you at i'm on the podcast with uh with the are you garbage fellas what up Verz? oh what's up guys verzi yeah. i'm dying in here it's 100 degrees in this apartment it, you called it a perfect time because we were talking about Ritzina, we were talking about Greek stuff, and I was actually about to bring up that you're 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 half Greek, but you're you're kind of like you were brainwashed into being Italian a little bit. <laughs> well, no, I mean not brainwashed. It's just you know my dad's you know my dad's crazy, and he <laughs> said that Sicilians are Sicilians are the best people on earth, and my mom rebelled against my Greek grandmother, so that's why it kind of stuck with me, you know. Yeah. Well, I just want to remind you that you're Greek and you're welcome back anytime. You're, you're welcome in the club. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to interrupt the podcast, man. I'll call uh, you back. Yes, uh, call me back. All right. Look Great. At you on the watch. Yeah, that was really. I love that was it. Was a real 2023 moment. Right? Yeah, right there. Imagine wake up, waking Fucking up. Back I didn't know they did that. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know you could talk into it. You're an interesting guy. That's you know Retsina, but you don't know that the, you can you, you can, can talk to people on the watch. Inter- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the situation. It's not food related. Yeah. And yeah. Apple Watch don't go good with a span of copa. Yeah. You know what I mean? It don't fuck you up and it don't make you fat. He's out. And if it ain't World War II. <laughs> yeah. We've been ending up on a lot of stuff at the same time recently. We just did. Yeah, Flight 3855 yes. yeah. from fucking LaGuardia yeah. to Austin. That was yep. fun when I'm I texted starting you. To get fucking, I'm, I'm sitting there and I get, I got my eyes on you, you fucking garbage pizza <laughs> shit. He starts threatening me via text on an airplane, which is a federal charge, he I think. Well, he, he wouldn't get the Sky Marshal. He didn't have my my number programmed in, so you didn't know who it was. Yeah, I didn't know who it was, and I'm like. And I kind of knew that for some reason. I kind of knew. For some reason, I, I just... I think I might even hit you with a new phone, who's this? Right, you did hit me with a new phone, who's this? Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is a 2023 for you. better fucking tell me who this is, yeah. or I'm going to turn this goddamn plane around. <laughs> so I don't like I don't like numbers. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I started hitting him with that, and uh, yeah, yeah, we, call, we, yeah. I let it go for a little while. 
Yeah, it yeah. was like nine texts. Yeah. You're like, I see you, you fucking seat 1A, motherfucker. I said, I'm going to tell your fans you guys your are fans. in first class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I tell you, you're fucking lying and pieces of shit. And he throws you under the bus. He goes, we got to go in big first class because the big fella's got to be I, able oh, to fix it. The big man needs, like, Sit next to me on a flight more than 45 minutes. You'll be begging for first class. <laughs> you'll pay whatever you want. I feel bad for my girlfriend anywhere we fly because we're in the back. But then Yanni man. said, tell the big man to lean left because we're about to sort of do a barrel roll. <laughs> That was a good, yeah, yeah. And Folks, then you, then you told me about his Bloody Marys, like nine. Yeah, I'm like, he's nine deep already. Yeah, had a couple of blood. I think I fell asleep. Yeah, which usually happens now, after nine Bloody Marys. what's the heartburn like after nine Bloody Marys? It's not bad. It's not bad. So it gets to a point like four is bad, but then you go past yeah. it, it's nine. And no, you... well, I take uh, I take Nexium, which you can eat glass on that thing for, for my acid reflux. And it's not really like spicy food that does it to me. It's shitty food. Man. It does it to me. Like if I have McDonald's, I have the worst heartburn ever. Yeah, but a nice Bloody Mary, I'm okay. That's weird. Yeah, because usually it's the Bloody Mary, the tomato sauce, the nah. orange juice, the citrus that nah. gets you. Bacon in the morning will jam me up. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, on an empty stomach. So fried stuff, maybe. fried stuff is bad. Yeah, that yeah. gives you heartburn too. Yeah, I yeah. don't yeah. do it. I've ruined this ottoman, by the way. I can feel. I, it's, I've definitely. Oh, no, got you, it's creasing. Like you, you are. Oh. I've been mean, looking at creasing, dude. You are six yeah. inches. I mean, it, it, We're gonna have to reframe this. Yeah, you dropped six inches for the last twenty minutes. I've been thinking, how am I gonna get out of here? Well, here's the my th legs hurt so bad right now. You, you were supposed no to be idea. sitting here, but you didn't want to. You said you didn't like the pose. I, this is better optically, I think, for the fan. People could be eating out there, Yanni. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm all sweaty. Now you look crisscross. You look like the Buddha from Philly. <laughs> you like you look like the Buddha if the booty grew up in Philly. <laughs> Would it change? Just fucking people leaving what Percocets are you doing? on my feet. Guys, uh, you know, there's no hoop. Just gotta <laughs> you have to, you know. Just uh, you know, you, you can't want anything. You gotta accept, you know, occasional to ca put mayonnaise on a Italian hoagie. Yeah, <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> yeah. So how's how's the are you garbage uh, army doing? They're good. They're doing yeah. good. They're good. Shout out to the Army Shout of Garbage. Shout out to the AYG Army. You Couples. guys got so, probably the funnest live show. You guys are Thank on a you. tour, killing it. Thank Fuck you. It. Your fans come out and you play these games with them, yeah, so which the, is like the perfect fun night out. It's, it's awesome, man. The live show is we co-headline. Uh, like we've been, you know, comics for fucking 10, 12, well, 14 years, whatever the fuck it is. So <gasps> we, we each we each co-headline. <laughs> Not with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us over. I mean, I got two words: window unit. All right, <laughs> <laughs> something. Jesus, it's hot here. I feel like a hostage. It's yeah, actually you know, not that bad. And you know what? DeRosa made a good point when he was here. We should just put the AC on. I mean, we're, we don't. The audio quality. Nobody a gives room a room tone. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah, nobody cares. They don't care if there's a little buzz in the back. Anyway, go I ahead. mean, I'm pretty sure here's he's the, on the verge of a panic attack. Well, here's the good thing. <laughs> my, my legs hurt so bad. Really the funny hard. part is it'll be because of this episode that we institute that policy, but yeah. we won't do it this episode. Sure. <laughs> and then we'll probably never come back. Yeah, we won't we'll get like, invited. Some future generations. Yeah, if Foley dies, we'll be like, we got to put the AC on because <laughs> Foley died on the podcast. So since it'll Foley be, didn't make it out of yeah. Big Ridge. <laughs> they buried him on 3rd Ave. <laughs> so we got to just have the podcast in here right now. It's not safe. Put me in the planter downstairs? Yeah. <laughs> You were saying, I'm sorry. Oh, no, so the live shows, we co-headline, and then we play AYG with the crowd. Everybody emails, and you get there, and they email in their, like, garbage question, which we found out everybody wants to ask their garbage question. Some of them are fucking bananas crazy. Yeah, they're great. And then it's like, we just do that, we shit on, it's a fucking good fucking time. So and you know what's great. wild that we've noticed? People, uh, some people really open up about shit that you wouldn't want really to cool. tell another person. They ask in front of 200 people. And it's great. Yeah, like we the, had we yeah, had this sorry. one in uh, Gramercy, where the girl said, "Is it garbage to uh, leave your job as a pharmacist to shuck oysters in Long Island?" And as soon as she asked that, I was like, "She didn't leave that voluntarily. Something happened." I was like, "What happened?" She's like, "Yeah, I was dipping into the perks." Yeah, and just had this real honest moment, man. It was so fucking great. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. It was That's really, really fun. cool. Yeah, you and like everybody applauded her. We're like, "Thank you for sharing." It's like a real fucking dirtbag moment. Yeah. It's like because every kind of. we all have that. Yeah, up, yeah. You know? all, that's a great thing about it, and that's why it'll never run out of legs. Is because we are all. All Which trash. we never trash when, when we made it. We weren't thinking about yeah. it, and it was just more of like, oh, it'll be fun to la it'll get some laughs, and we'll tell some stories or whatever. But like, we're realizing that everybody is trash, and everybody wants to share. It's and it's not like ah, you fucking did this. It's it's like welcome to the party. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like come on in the water's fine. Type yeah, thing. yeah, it's yeah. It's celebrated, not fucking yeah, made fun of. 
Yeah, and that's how it should be. I mean, you know, people should just have a sense of humor about themselves and know that they're garbage. We're, we're fungus growing on a rock. Sure. 100%. Is really what we are. Yes. We're yeah. all trash. We're going to die. We're so small, infinitely small in this universe, and we're nothing compared to, to Muhammad. Prophet. <laughs> true. What the fuck? Dump that. <laughs> what the fuck's this fucking commie bastard talking about? <laughs> I gotta go home for Mother's Day. What are you doing to me? Jesus Christ. Jay, me up. You know, as far as purity goes, we're low on the scale. Very. Yeah. Question for you guys. Yeah. Go ahead. My mom used to reuse paper towels. That's that's how? an immigrant thing. Is, is that trash or immigrant? I want. That's what. But I how did she? How did she reuse them? What are we talking? She about? would oh. exactly. Yeah. She would dry them. So she'd use it. To dry the counter, okay, and then she'd hang it on the dish, uh, the dish drying rack. Mm -hmm. She'd hang them on the yeah. side like that. She'd fold it over the pole. That's like grandmother. That's like yeah. immigrant shit. That yeah. is what it is. They don't they, in their head like uh, my like because same thing. My mom, my wife's mom will come over, and they were like refugees from Czechoslovakia at the time. So it's like in her head to like throw something out that you used once. They're like. We, the Russians might come back. You know, you might need that at some point. <laughs> right, right. So it's like she saves shit, and I'm like, you got to fucking trash this. What are we doing here? But it's still trash. It is, but it's not a laziness thing. It's like a scarcity thing. It's like a, it's an anxiety. It's not like. But we can't just be around making excuses for people. It's like, listen, sure. you're not in communist Russia anymore. The Cossacks aren't coming. <laughs> fucking use it. They're 99 cents a roll. You can't shake that shit yeah, though. You can't, that that's easily. generational. That takes though. a couple generations. Yeah. You're like, listen, Sveltana, uh, <laughs> just fucking throw it throw out. Throw it out. I'll buy yeah, a new I'll one. I'll buy a I fucking got new one. .com. My mom gonna... reuses the, the the Ziploc bags, the big ones. Yeah, she those things are like luggage. She just <laughs> washes them out and reuses them. Yeah, that's so. That's, that's the trash. thing you're going is that that's you got to at some point you got to go. You're gonna at some point you guys are making fun of poor people. Let's yeah. be honest, sure, because sure. they're going. Hey, I'm yeah. doing that now. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> you go. Hey, I drink grape drink. You're like it's kind of trash. Oh, I love grape drink. Yeah, it's yeah. good though. You it's, kidding me? It's good. it's good. That's the problem. A lot of trashy shit is very good. It's a lot and of trash a lot shit. of fun to do. Yes, that's true. It's great. That and is we true. found it's not really it's not really poor or rich because there's so many people that grew up wealthy or grew up with money that did so much like their parents did the trashiest shit. Sometimes the wealthiest people are the most frugal. Right. You know what I mean? And right. do shit like that. Right, 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 right. So know? even you, you make a good buck. We, you were telling us you throw all your trash in a fireplace. I throw my underwear and I shit them in the fireplace too. <laughs> yeah, that's fuck, yeah. I don't care how much money you got in yeah, trash. See? Yeah, but that's thrifty though. No, 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 no. You don't see? want everybody that's got trash. their own experience. You don't want anyone to good point. You don't want anyone to find your undies in the trash. But if you fucking I I do it like a body. It's like I killed someone. You want to get rid of the evidence. He's, That's he a burns it. He's sitting there with a scotch. Yeah. Back, <laughs> trying to forget what happened. <laughs> sitting by the fireplace. Actually, Forgive me, Father Fire. <laughs> it has been three days since How I often is that a fire going out I've there? Streak, it sounds like every Wait, you do it in day. the house, don't you? I, I streak my Tommy Johns all the time. And believe me, I don't, I don't like throwing away a $30 pair of fucking underwear, but I do it. I do it because I don't want my wife. Why you burn it in my the fireplace? My mother-in-law does my laundry. I don't want her to find my fucking streaks. You sure you ain't Italian? <laughs> Greek's pretty close. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Man. Yeah, it's, so I do them. In, I your throw mother-in-law the... seeing your dirty drawers. She's I, I, as, as if she's your not family. She was family. Maybe she's not looking too close. She's dude. I don't care who you are. You grab someone else's pair of underwear. You're taking a little looky low. I always get black underwear. Let's be honest. There's always a streak smart. on that. Yeah, does she do it. Does she does it better than you would, right? Don't they smell better and fresher when 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 a mom does? Hundred percent, hundred percent. She's basically living with us at this point because like the kids and stuff Baby. like sure. that. Sure, so that, that kind of helps out a little bit. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so and they probably love having grandma around. It's the best. It's the best. It's great. Cause, yeah, it's just nice to watch my kid have a grandparent around. Sure, you know, it's a good thing. Yeah, we don't do that too much in America anymore. We no. throw the grandparents out. I would. Send I them want down that. to Florida. Ship yeah. them out. I want to try to get my mom up here, but she won't do it. You're. You're. That's good. That's old school. That's the way it should be. Dude, yeah. your mom is what? Seven? You're to move her up to Queens? That's not the. She lives in the burbs. She's got a pool. She don't want to come up to a four story walk up. She's, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got this. Got this broad on the F train and shit. I'm yeah. still. I'm, I'm still pushing. <laughs> what the fuck? She's got a jeep. She's chilling. Yeah. She got a yard. Don't want to move her up here. But if we have kids, I would love to have that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm looking at houses in the burbs by my family, all outside of Philly. 
Ooh, you going back home? It's the home? same thing. I'm the same distance as you if I go to Philly. That's like a good for point. the burbs of Philly. That's it's like, good... why go an hour north? Why go an hour south? I'm fucking 15 minutes from the fam. That's a good point, actually. You're in between. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, my, my commute's 45 minutes or an hour, hour 10, whatever the fuck Yeah, it is. yeah. Just do it that way. Yeah, and it's not, there's you a lot a pool, of... pool, get a house with a yard. Then you get a little summer home down there in Point Pleasant. Nah, Wildwood. I'm North Wildwood guy, baby. What's... Through through it. It's just the trashiest of the trash. Point Pleasant. That's where plumbers can afford a house. That's where I go. Is Point Pleasant no good? Point Pleasant is classy, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. real classy. Yeah, so Classier then why'd you say it like it wasn't? Because he's not going to nice, classy places. He's no. going to North Wildwood I can't, yeah, I with the rest of the of HVAC people. <laughs> Dude, the best line I ever heard. A lot was, of plumbing vans <laughs> parked down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I spent a lot of when you go to the beach, you know how people put up like, I went to Penn State to put up a Penn State flag. It's all Trump flag. Yeah, yeah. It's all Temple <laughs> Temple University and Trump flag. But uh, I was on the beach in North Wildwood. I spent the pandemic down there uh, just randomly. I was just We went down for the weekend because they were like talking about locking down New York. So me and the, me and the bird were like, Let's go down there for two, three days. You and the bird? Me and the bird. Yeah. Uh, we're like, let's lock it down for two, three days. Let's go down there for two, three days because we're going to be locked in this fucking apartment for two weeks, it sounds like. And then we got down there, and that night we got down there, they were like, New York shut down. I'm like, I ain't fucking going back there. Yeah, we remember we thought it was house. two weeks? Yeah, everybody Two weeks. Yeah, 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 Whatever. Yeah. But uh, we were on the beach, and there was this, uh, she looked like he, she looked like Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife. <laughs> like, fucking big, busty broad, <laughs> fucking cans hanging out, and she goes, what? The, it was when everybody, antibodies, vaccine, it was all, you know, it was probably like, it was probably like May, right? Yeah. Never, all that stuff's rolling around. What is what? And she goes, what the fuck is an antibody anyway? <laughs> Does that mean you got it or you don't? Who the fuck knows? And I was like, we are fucked. I don't know what antibodies are, but I ain't living next to them. I'll tell you that. <laughs> the fuck is an antibody anyway? Where? Did, how did you guys get together? Did you meet in comedy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah in, we met, Philly. Met in Philly. He needed oh. somebody to bum smokes off of. That's what honest. happened. Yeah, we used to, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. We had an open mic in Philly that uh, that everybody used to do, and you know he started doing it, and we became buddies. So did you become buddies and then move down together, or you moved down and then you were like, oh, good there was see a bunch you. of us in Philly. Yeah, we came in in a wave. Yeah, we came in in a wave. We were all down there for about five, seven years. Um, people started trickling up, and then uh, in 2013. Cassidy had Tommy Cassidy had just moved up. Reggie and I, Reggie Conquest and I moved up, I think on the same day. Yeah. Uh just at January first or second. And then he moved up in the summer. Nice. And when did you de- when did you decide to start Are You Garbage? This is our third podcast together. Yeah, we decided oh. well, we, we had th- one that failed called Center City Comedy. We had another one that failed called Hard Feelings. Which that was the uh the mic we ran in Philly was called the Center City Comedy Show. And then when that kind of dissolved, no we weren't using Center City Comedy. And then we were up here running around for maybe like six, eight months, and then we just happened to get together and do a show, and we had a bunch of Philly people on it. And then after that, we're like, you know, we should focus on that rather than, you know, trying to appease New York comics and all that stuff, start doing our own thing. So then we, st- then we started the Center City Comedy Podcast. We did that for about four or five years, and then that fizzled off, and then we did I had about feelings. 70 listeners. Yeah, then we did Mostly my family. And then we, f- then we did uh, Are You Garbage? Right. Yeah. yeah. And so you guys were... So we've fr- been podcasting together for 10 years. Interesting. And so you were friends the whole time, and then you yeah. had the yeah, third, yeah, yeah. third thing that hit. Well, yeah. and it was also like we were working with other people, like in a bigger extended thing, and it was always kind of me and him always had the the bigger vision of like the pod is, you know, the motor of that's like well, that's what that's what's pushing everybody else, like all these big comics. So you just like we got to figure out what it we is. We got to figure out what it is. The we, stripped down version of our identity yeah. was are you garbage? We yes. knew we were very we're very good together, right? Like our rhythm, our cadence, very good, and uh, we, Lo- like amazing. It's fun you. to watch, and yeah. we try to make each because we're swinging to make each other laugh. Like yeah. I know exactly what makes him laugh, and he knows what. So we're like, it's just like sparring, just trying to make fun of each other and get each other to laugh. And then we were doing a show uh, in fucking the middle. Of, it was like Pittsburgh or Altoona, Pennsylvania. We, we only got a couple I'm minutes. So I, I, know. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting out of this seat. I swear to God. Don't, don't worry. We're going to get a crane to help you out of here. <laughs> You're definitely going to have to move these chairs. <laughs> My legs are so stiff. I feel like Murtaugh sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Nothing on that. It's a deep cut, dude. <laughs> Shout out to Lethal Weapon, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. That's a shit. 
I gotta drag this ass around the country. This is what it's like. Yeah, when well, you guys, you gotta walk at a slower pace. I, well, now I just I walk fast. I walk faster than the average human. So you just text them later. I just go. I hey, keep man, up with them. You he do? does, but in I the go, airport, I catch up on the little uh, well, the escalator things. Oh, no, well, no, that that's where I smoke them. That's where I really gain distance. When we were on that plane with you, yeah, with that we were in the last terminal and like. Oh, JFK that was the worst day of my it life. Was a Twenty long. minute walk. Yeah. What yeah. the yeah. fuck is that yeah. bullshit? Dude, I just that's I go, the spot Delta has. Yeah, all that money you're down at the end of the fucking airport. <laughs> I Jesus go, Christ, dude! I go, I'll meet you. I saw how far while well, we were at like B one and we had to be at like B eighty eight. I'm like, dude, I'll fucking see you down there. <laughs> so, dude, it was so he just kept getting small. I would look back, he was smaller and smaller. <laughs> dude, I was stopping to take a pee. I stopped and got headphones, got a smoothie. <laughs> so, and then I fucking finally like. Dude. I was pouring sweat when I got there. Look at the fucking Unibomber. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let me on a plane. That's probably why she cut me off on a Bloody Mary. I was poor in sweat, and I had two tree Bloody Marys in me. You ever try to walk when you're drunk? Oh, that's no, so, oh. yeah. Being drunk and fat's tough. Oh, yeah. just poor in sweat. Yeah, it's a double whammy trying to walk. Brutal. You, uh, you guys are living the dream because you get to tour together. It's fun that's to go fun. with a that's friend. That's so cool. Yeah. It's we like bring we're the whole so squad. fortunate. We bring Toby We've... comes with us. New guy Luke comes with us, who's our, our other editor, and uh, Tommy Cassidy. Toby's great. Toby's how, great. How, remember when I did the episode and I said, how's your girl? And you guys, do you remember oh, yeah. that? Uh, so Toby's their producer. You guys probably know if you're fans of theirs, you're watching. Uh, Toby's Tebow. a producer. Yeah, Tebow. And so, he, you know, me and him were talking. We sure. talked for a little while, and he did a couple clips for me. Uh -huh. And he was telling me about his girl, and I was like, you know, my, at that time, my mom was going down, my dad was going. I had a period where everyone in my family was sick and dying. Sure. Yeah, me too. It was a rough period. And uh, so I was talking to him, and then I came in. I hadn't spoken to him in a while. I came in to do the first Are You Garbage? And I was like, Toby, uh, you know, I was like, How's your girlfriend? And everyone was just quiet, and they go, and these guys were like, well, she's, uh, she's, she's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. was like, sorry, man. I was like, yeah. We were like, the balls to come in and lead with that yeah. is nuts. <laughs> hey, what's up? I haven't seen you in two years since we last talked about your sick girlfriend. How's she doing, by yeah, the way? It almost came off like I was joking. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, it came off like, <laughs> yeah, so I was the girl. Yeah, it was like, like a roast. She's been dead for a year. You're like, yeah. oh, Jesus, sorry. I, yeah, T-Bone really went through it. Yeah, it was tough. But we, we couldn't have done so that him. He's awesome. It, it is kind of crazy that, like, it is one of those things, like, life-wise, it made me, you know, kind of re... I mean, the first year the pod started doing well... Between me, him, and Foley, or me, Fo me, him, and T Bone, we all had a like personal trat, like you know, Took very lumps. We all and like, dude, we were just fucking. And you're like, it's one of those things too of like, oh, just I, my, the whole ten years you're working doing comedy, like, my as long as my comedy career takes off, everything will be okay, and then it does, and you're like, oh no, this isn't the answer. You know it what I mean? Just like, keeps going. It's yeah. just like like you, yeah. if your personal life's great, your professional life might be shit. And it was like I like had to zoom out and be like, look at it from ten thousand feet of like. Okay, like it's not all going to be fucking sunshine and sunshine and roses because we got Yanni P on the pod. Yeah, because I mean, because like you said, at the end of the day, no matter what, whether you're rich, you're poor, black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, whatever, we're all fucking trash. Yeah, yeah. and I'll... and everything and life is trash. Yeah, life's shit. That's why we have a job. Yeah, we make people laugh. We cheer them up. I know because life is shit. Tragedy doesn't stop, and you're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this though: looking back, the only thing that I regret. Is sitting in this seat. That's the only thing out of my I mean, I, that was a wild call, dude. I'm hurting so bad. We should have done this from bed, to be honest. With you. <laughs> Two of my favorite guys. You guys are fucking funny. You're also warm, I, and you're good people. Thank, Thank you. That's buddy. what you got. The you got Appreciate the trifecta. I'm sweating. Yeah, you're sweating. <laughs> They're great. Are you garbage? If you don't know now, you know. You got to go check these guys on the road. Thank um, you, buddy. On their tour. What's the Webby? Are you, are you garbage. Garbage. just we launched just it last it. week, baby? That's got the how domain bad. Name. That's how bad a business we are. We just <laughs> launched a website last week, and also I bought the wrong one. I had I sent it to the web guy. I go, yeah, I got it. Here, here's the domain. He goes, this is spelled wrong. I said, all right, let me buy the new are one. Areyougarage.com. <laughs> I love how big your eyes are. I got big. I got a big set of. I got a big set of peepers on. You man. got a big set of fucking baby blues. Yeah. I open them up on you yeah. too. That's a nice pick. He did a good job with that. Yeah. I have gum in my mouth. Yeah. I thought yeah. I was losing a tooth. <laughs> the greatest guys in the world. Thank Philly's you, Philly's own. Love Appreciate you, buddy. Thank, thank you guys. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Of course. Thank you. Yeah. And thanks for it's quite an enjoyable. Thanks for breaking my Ottoman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the fall of the Ottoman Empire yeah. right there. Now pull in the crane. Let's get the big guy out of that seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Truth be told, last night I had myself a nice little root beer. Oh, you got a little naughty, didn't you? I got a little naughty. I had a Brooklyn Cannery. Oh, so you didn't get naughty. Root beer. No, I didn't get naughty. I was good. Got healthy. I'm not on Santa's naughty list. No, not at all. 
I was watching the games. I have a case of jalapeno lime left. I have almost a case of root beer, and then I have to re up because I've I've I have drunken. Is drunken the way you say it? I've drank. Sure, why not? I've drunken all the rest of my Brooklyn Cannery sodas because they're that good. They're really good. BrooklynCannery.com. Fifteen percent off your next order uh, of all your healthy, all natural sodas. No added sugar. Low in calories. And what I mean low in calories, it's not like because they put like the Diet Coke. What, Di- what does Diet Coke use? It's like All those chemicals and shit. There's no chemicals in this. Yeah. They use stevia. They use monk fruit. They sweeten these sodas with natural stuff. Shit that you can read, that you can pronounce. So you can digest. Let's digest. be honest. Yeah. Yeah. That other shit that went into the atomic bomb. Absolutely. It's chemicals. And these are prebiotic sodas, which means they're good for your gut as well. Mm-hmm. They have some, uh, what is that? Live cultures. In there, I guess. That's yes, what yes, that yes, means. Yes, yes, yes. Something like that. Prebiotic. Prebiotic. So do you do you order some of these? Yes, I do. Yeah. These are these are a great option if you like soda. They re- it really is. You just they order you order a case to your house or whatever you want. Brooklyncannery.com. Promo code Giannis Pappas, you'll get 15% off your order. Any order. So go ahead and get them. We love Brooklyn Cannery. Chrissy Minetti. I think he emailed us. What is he saying? He's buying a sign. Um, but before he buys the sign. If you need cash, if you need cash, okay, and you got a check, go meet Chris Minetti somewhere. Just call him up, 215-750-3730 in the South Jersey or Philly area, and he will cash your check. He's a check cashing establishment. That's all he does. Don't ask okay? him do nothing else. If you need a business check cashed, that's what you got to do, and that's all there is to it. Ask Yanni to add free check cashing if you show proof of thalassemia minor. So Mediterranean kids, no charge. <laughs> Did he send another? Scroll down to the bottom. Dude, there's so many messages. Yeah, go all the way to the bottom. Let's see what the last one is from Minetti. All right, give me a minute. Really? Oh, because you got to go. Just click on it. It'll go to the, it'll go, click on it. Oh, all right, we'll do it at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. We, Did you uh, read his number? Yeah, I read his number. All right. For the free uh, dot art uh, music in Hawaii. Next. <laughs> ExclusiveAutoShipping.com You're moving your wheels Or if you bought a car out of state Hit up ExclusiveAutoShipping.com Student and military discounts are available as well What else we got? Uh, uh, Manly Girly Studios You know the deal Get their merch we'll Check out their podcasts 20% off their merch with promo code WEPA <laughs> And don't forget to check out their biggest hit Juanon <laughs> Casa de Thinky, the Manly Girly Show. If you're in North Carolina, go to their live show at their house. <laughs> <laughs> couple of North Carolina kids doing a bunch of... They got a podcast network. I love when guys got a network of five or six podcasts. <laughs> That's when you know we're in like a boom. They don't have just one with a few listeners. They got five. You never know what's going to hit. You never know. Keep throwing stuff at the wall. You heard the Are You Garbage guys. They did it three failed ones. No, but they're, those guys are blowing up big. Okay, our our favorite lady here, Samantha Gubera. Right, Gubera? That's all correct. Right. All right, check out her farrier service in Nashville, <laughs> 864-200-9007, or visit the sporthorsefarrier.com. If your horse needs new shoes, mm-hmm. get the hooves right. <laughs> All right, it, this basically she's she's basically like the goat app for horses. Pretty much, yes. Get you get your horse some new kicks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the sports the sports the sport horse farrier sport horse farrier dot com eight six four two hundred nine zero zero. Everyone's got a horse, and everyone's in the market for a farrier. Mm-hmm. So. Enough with these obscene, obscene vet bills from these bullshit farriers. Sam Gubera is the real deal. And I know because I got tons of experience dealing with farriers. <laughs> so I know what a good farrier is like. Displaypros.net. Somebody else is making our sign. You're too slow. What do they do, Displays.net? Displays, they make, they pros, make displays. If you have anything that you need for like a car show or anything like that or any like, you know, outdoor salesman or whatever. If you got a business and you wanted to be on the display, hit these guys up. They'll they'll hook you up. They have a free consultation, I believe, right? So yeah, just go to displaypros.net and if you go put in the code what's the deal is, you'll get ten percent off your first purchase. Tell them that Giannis sent you. Or Jared. 
Or yeah, or Jesse, or yeah. Jesse's glasses. <laughs> the finger painter. Hey, Jesse, another updated copy. Jesus Christ. Chat GBT, channeling Kanye. Is this our uh, cute no fumara Eastern Hemi, but we'll suck a cock for a penny? Yeah, that's what, him. He wrote The City. Have you read it? Has anyone read a page of it? No. No, let's just be honest. No, I tried to go to the Instagram page for it, but then my Instagram got reported, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is his new review. Just peep The City. Shit's straight up crazy, like a movie on paper. Gang wars, political battles, and one OG ex-military dude holding it down. If you're about that life, check it out. Hashtag urban mayhem. Hashtag revenge plot. Hashtag skyscraper life. Okay. All right. Yeah. So go check out the, the book, The City, or the novel, the graphic novel, The City. There's also an Instagram page for it. Where is it at, Jesse? Uh, the City graphic novel on Instagram. Yeah, they Sarazar.com. Sarazar.com as well. Yeah. But they dropped a couple copies, and the third copy is coming. The third uh, chapter chapter is coming pretty soon. So check that out. He should just send a copy to the studio. Send a copy to the studio, buddy. We, Message us. Send yes. a copy. To the send a copy studio. to the studio so Giannis can read all the words wrong. Yeah, we could have Jared act it out. Well, what we'll do is we'll read it here. We'll open yeah. it to a page and we'll read a scene. Yes, I'm sure it's great. All right, staffing beaver does one thing. What does they do? They eat pussy. <laughs> yeah, staffing beaver. Mm -hmm. They hire chicks. <laughs> yep, to get sexually harassed. They find you offshore remote talent to fill important <laughs> roles in your business. Basically, are you looking for a hot chick who's going to look the other way when you sexually harass her? Yes. Beaver Staffing we got the job for you. Just think Andrew Tate, but Seaside. Now, how are you going to have a name Beaver Staffing and not be looking for porn actresses? You know this is a front for chicks to be cam girls. Yes, yes. This is fucking a, a subsidiary of Andrew Tate's company, <laughs> Beaver. It's, it's all in the name. All right, so only ladies apply. And uh, are you comfortable with being on film? <laughs> they, uh, all right, you do a 30-minute discovery call, and you can save 70% on what you're currently paying to fill roles locally. So if you're a business looking to hire talent, right, mm -hmm. you call Staffing Beaver at staffingbeaver.com. Uh, that You can hire a bookkeeper, customer service rep, porn girl, <laughs> data entry specialist, graphic designer, inbound call expert, outbound call expert. We know what you guys are talking about. A little in and out. Yeah. You want an inbound call expert, in and out? A little bit of the old in and out. You want to fill some holes. You want to, you want to fill some holes in I your mean... in your company. <laughs> call Staffing Beaver. Do they have a phone number? Probably. What was those back in the day, the sex phone lines? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so call, uh, check out staffingbeaver.com and, and, and hire, uh, you know, fill some holes in your company. Uh, tell them you get a little discount, too. Oh, you mentioned that Yanni sent you, you'll get 10% off your first placement fee. Yeah, very nice. Global talent is the hack to growing your business fast. Oh, so they get them from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So they'll get you some cheap labor out of uh, Sri Lanka. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to follow them at Staffing Beaver on Instagram. All right. All yeah. right. Oh, when reading our copy, can you display our Twitter page? They'd like. All right, Jesse. We'll just, if he remembers it, he'll get put it up. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. We'll see you next week. It's been a long